Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. But right now, we're going to go over the world to our man, Mr. Dave Mazza. Dave is the head of product and the managing director at Direction. Dave Mazda, how you doing? Doing well. Glad, glad to be back. Yes, and you know, Dave, uh, was <laughs> I? We were scrambling down here in, in Florida, and we're cool. Thank. I mean, they've hit 135 miles to us, and um, I missed you. I, you were going to be. You were on Bloomberg, right? With uh, that all the ETFs. Did you? Ever, did, you know. Well, first off, tell them a little bit about that. But it's amazing that they got a whole program now just with ETFs, right? Yeah, I think uh, some folks uh, were, were not as early adopters as you and your uh, and your and your team has been in, in, in ETFs. And yeah, now Bloomberg actually has their own show dedicated once a week dedicated to ETFs. And you know, topics were range from everything from things that we talk about the basics and yes. adoption of ETFs to uh, what we were talking about our leverage and inverse ETFs, and particularly a uh, fund that folks know well, SoxL. Right. Uh, and just some of the interesting behavior that we've seen there, where. You know that that fund continues to to see people buying the dip, even as that space has been hammered. That is interesting, man. That's pretty cool. See, that's and and folks. So as you come over to TFN, you're listening to TFN right now. Well, you can hit that direction banner. You can come right over, and the bottom line is that you'll get right into the direction site. And you got to remember something: that every day, as, as Dave was just talking about this, okay, uh, the bottom line is that they give you the biggest daily movers and shakers in the market. So it's really cool. So Dave, what I'd like to do today, when we got a rally going, um, and you know, we'll see how this shakes out uh, inside of the bond market. Uh, but you know, the bottom line is that, you know, whether you're a bull or a bear folks, okay, uh, we have two, uh, we have the TMF and the TMV, um, you know, that Basically, you're going to be a bull or a bear in this market. Um, so, I, I think that you know. That actually, there's there's so many places that you can go today, right? <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah. I think you're you're right. So a lot of folks just think about trading uh, in stocks, right? And so if you have an interest in trading, particularly leverage and inverse ETFs, we know they're daily trading tools. So you have to make that buy, sell, or hold decision right on a daily basis. TMF uh, and TMV. To your point are actually in the fixed income market. And what they do is they provide exposure to, uh, to really the long bond index, so 20 plus, um, 20 plus treasury. Yes. That's where the volatility has been this year. So treasury volatility has been a bit off, you know, off the charts. Only recently has equities and credit kind of caught up, even though they've struggled this year, uh, because all the moves have been really in the, the uh, particularly start the year, the fact that people were not expecting the Fed to be as aggressive as they has been. Yes. Uh, and of course, there's now people saying, well, maybe the, the Fed should pump the brakes. But the more hawkish governors last week came on and said, you know what, we got to fight this inflation back. And all that's done is put kind of further, um, uh, further pressure on uh, on bonds. And that's seen the yields go up. So we're really seeing a ton of activity in both the bull and the bear fund here as people really fight it out. Now, the bear fund's gotten a bit larger, as you'd expect, because the performance has been um, so strong, but it's not as if we're not seeing activity on the bull side, because um, I, I do think we're at an interesting juncture where now we're starting to see some cracks in the economic data. Today's PMI is still above that 50 line, but weaker than expectations. Big employment number coming out this week, and uh, we're in a weird place where the stronger employment is, it's more cover for the Federal Reserve to continue to raise rates. You know, I think at some point, because they're so behind the, behind the curve, uh, there may be some issues here. Look at what's going on in the UK and their pension system right. uh, and the impact in the gilts market. But as you were saying in the, the intro to this, the dollar continues to actually be not just a safe haven, but an area where non-US investors look for outperformance. And that's actually going to be further support for, I think, the Fed to keep doing what they're doing. Yeah, no, I can see that. I there's there's, it's you know, it, listen, it's great getting a bounce so people can you know, well, it turns into a great trading market. That's 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 the reality. So what I'd like to do, can we change gears just for a second? I want to go over these these singles, uh, the new singles that you have, right? And when I was looking at, at them, you know, when we're talking uh, Microsoft, we're talking um, you know Amazon, um, and the so there you get a one to one, then you get a one to point five zero. And the so the aspect is that 
Is the reason you only have a one to one five zero on one side of, of how that you handle these trades all the time? How does that work? Yeah, so uh, we have uh, 10 ETFs, a bull and a bear yeah. um, on uh, on Apple, Alphabet, Microsoft, Amazon and Tesla. And, the, and in this particular case, because s individual stocks are more volatile than an index of stocks, right. all else being equal, um, we felt it was appropriate to have a, a lower leverage point. So here nice. we did 1.5 times still really attractive for traders oh, yeah. uh, on the bull side. Right. And then just that inverse on the bear side, because we know that a lot of folks, um, for good reason, have been long these names, um, especially Apple and Tesla. Those sure. longs have worked out uh, really up until recently. Those those two names had held on uh, relative to the broader market for much of this year. Obviously, we're starting to see cracks in that, concerns about uh, – uh, interest in the new iPhone 14 production there, and then Tesla's numbers that came out last night or this morning about vehicle deliveries being uh, being less than expected. So we launched TSLL and uh, TSLS, for example, for traders to take advantage of the moves that we're seeing out of Tesla. And folks, what's so cool, so come over to the website, get over to the direction, because what's so cool about this, like a day like today, if you want 1.5 exposure on the way up you have it and if you own those stocks as dave's saying you can just go for the bear side and stay delta neutral dave thanks so much thanks for the education look forward to speaking in two weeks thanks for having me thank you stay right there folks we'll come right back